everybody. Welcome to another Treetop Tales at the Ecology Center. Today's story is all about a little anteater who learns that uh, every single animal has a different nose that's specially suited for what that animal needs. The story is called Antina the Anteater Has a Long Nose and we'll start reading it right away. Afterwards, we're going to learn a little bit more about anteaters because there's all kinds of incredible and interesting facts about anteaters. They're really interesting animals. Um, Antina the anteater has a long nose. Antina anteater has a long nose. One morning, little Antina anteater looked into a still pond and noticed she had a very long nose. It was so long that Antina couldn't see her eyes or her ears. They were hidden behind that huge nose. When Antina climbed up onto her mother's back, she asked, Why do anteaters have such long noses? I don't like having such a long nose. mother replied, Antina, you can be proud of your long nose. If you had a short nose, you couldn't poke it into anthills and catch the ants you love to eat. Antina's mother carried her through the forest in search of anthills. As they ambled along, she said, lots of animals have special noses to help them in many ways. An elephant has a nose that squirts like a hose. A camel has a nose that can close when sand blows. A pig has a nose that snuffles for truffles. A mandrel has a nose that's as bright as a rose. A mole has a nose that can feel out a meal. And Tina thought about different kinds of animal noses while her mother sniffed out a large anthill. Together they dug big clumps of dirt out of the anthill with their sharp claws. And Tina poked her long nose deep into the hole she had made. As Antina and her mother gulped down mouthfuls of wriggly, delicious ants, Antina decided that she was very happy to have a special long nose that she could poke into anthills. The End Giant anteaters don't live in this part of the world. They're found in Central and South America, where they live in wetlands, grasslands, and tropical forests. Giant anteaters are big. They're about two meters long from the tip of their snout to the tip of their tail. When giant anteaters move about, they tuck their large front claws into their palms and walk on their knuckles. A giant anteater's nose is at the end of its long snout. Their powerful sense of smell is 40 times more powerful than that of a human. Young anteaters spend the first year of their lives riding around on their mother's backs. That sounds like fun. Giant anteaters eat ants, of course, and termites, whose nests they rip open with their powerful claws. Giant anteaters have tongues that are over 60 centimeters long, and 
they can flick their tongues into an anthill more than 150 times a minute. The tongue is covered with sticky saliva that acts like glue and helps the anteater to slurp up ants. Anteaters feast for about a minute at a time because ants and termites have painful bites and sometimes they bite the anteater's nose. Anteaters never destroy a nest so that they can return and eat over and over again. I hope you enjoyed learning about anteaters and that you also enjoyed Antina the Anteater has a long nose. <laughs>